When we hear about a list of the world's wealthiest people, our minds automatically go to grown-ups who have done well in their careers or businesses. You might be astonished to learn that a group of children, including teenagers, are ranked among the world's wealthiest due to their inheritance. Every year, the number of new millionaires and billionaires added to the list increases. In the case of their children, much of the wealth is generally transferred to the kids, and they become instant millionaires, even before they finish their education. Today, though, we'll be talking about the fortune of Morocco's crown prince, Prince Maulé Hassan. Prince Maulé Hassan bin Mohammed was born on the 8th of May in the year 2003. When the crown prince was born, it was a joyous occasion, and a 21-gun salute was fired in his honor. He is the eldest son of Morocco's King Mohammed VI and Princess Lala Salma. He has a younger sister named Princess Lala Khadija. The prince was named after his grandfather Hassan II, and he is likely to take the regal name Hassan III upon his succession. The crown prince is only 17 years old and will turn 18 soon. The richest teenager alive today is Prince Maulay Hassan. Prince Maulay, the royal family's eldest son, will be Morocco's future monarch. The son of one of the world's wealthiest men has become the world's richest child, with a fortune of $2.4 billion. Despite his affluence, the prince is a modest and well-behaved teenager. Prince Maulay is interested in studying aviation, being the first in the family to take that career path. Prince Maulay will have to undergo entrance tests for the famous Royal Aeronautical School CRPTA to pursue his dreams. In 2020, Crown Prince Maulay El Hassan received his baccalaureate and enrolled in the Faculty of Governance and Economics and Social Sciences, a Mohammed VI Polytechnic University in Benguiri affiliate for the 2020-2021 year school. His father, on the other hand, was a lawyer. Crown Prince Mole El Hassan had been participating in royal activities since 2015, accompanying King Mohammed VI to various engagements and representing him on multiple occasions before the COVID-19 outbreak and related limitations. Crown Prince Mole El Hassan met youngsters participating in the 12th edition of Al Quds Summer Camps hosted by the Bayat Mal Al Quds Akrif Agency at the Palais des Hotels in Rabat on August 22, 2019 by decree of King Mohammed VI. Also on June 28, 2019, Crown Prince Mole El Hassan represented King Mohammed VI at the opening of the new port Tanger Med II, establishing the Tanger Med port complex as a major port and key asset to the Mediterranean. During his local and foreign visits, the prince piqued the curiosity of several media outlets. Prince Mole has shocked many by communicating well in major languages – Arabic, Spanish, French and English. In 2015, the prince began appearing in public for the first time in preparation for his future reign. He travels the world on his Gulfstream G650 private jet, which costs $67.4 million. It's said to be one of the world's most expensive and powerful private jets. It has the license plate CNAMH, which stands for Majesty. This allows him to be addressed as Majesty Mole Hassan at all times when he arrives at any airport in the world. His private jet has a range of 14,000 kilometers and can only carry a maximum of 12 passengers, including the crew. A $20 million Israeli J Music missile defense system is installed on the plane. Apart from his jet, Prince Mole owns a significant oil company in Morocco, among other valuable assets. Morocco, a North African country bordering the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, is known for its cultural influences of Berber, Arabian, and European. The Medina of Marrakesh, a maze-like medieval quarter, has entertainment in the Gemma, Elfna Square and marketplaces offering ceramics, jewelry, and metal lanterns. The Kasbah of the Udayas in Rabat, Morocco's capital, is the 12th century royal fort overlooking the water. Morocco is frequently referred to as North Africa's most attractive country with a rich culture and history as well as stunning architectural structures. It is also home to a royal dynasty with international influence, the Crown Prince Mole Hassan 17 and the Princess Lala Khadija 13 are the only children of King Mohammed VI and his wife, Princess Lala Salma. Mole, who is the heir to his father's throne, is making a big impression on everyone he meets. His family's net worth is reported to be over $5.7 billion. On Saturday, May the 8th, the Moroccan royal family and the Moroccan nation will commemorate Crown Prince Mole El Hassan's 18th birthday. He is well aware of the responsibilities that come with being a member of the royal family, and he frequently appears beside the king 
at big international and Moroccan events. Both the prince and his father were there at the funeral of Henry de Orleans, Count of Paris and Duke of France a year ago. The Crown Prince presided over the opening of the 14th International Agricultural Exhibition, SIEM, in Morocco a few years ago. Mole made international headlines in 2017 as the youngest participant at One Planet Summit in France. We can tell that the young guy is following in his father's footsteps in this regard. At the Royal Guest Palace in Rabat in 2019, Prince Mole received Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Malé's fame in Morocco is reflected in the names of the Circuit International Automobile Malé El Hassan in Marrakesh and the 12,000-seater Stade Malé Hassan in Rabat. He enjoys spending time with his family around the holidays. He had a fantastic time in New York with his mother and sister in September 2019. They chartered a luxury yacht named Serenity which cost $596,000 per week during a trip to the Greek islands of Skiathos in July 2019. He is genuinely concerned about the state of the world and he works closely with his father to ensure that Morocco is a haven for individuals from all walks of life. In 2017, Malé welcomed visiting Palestinian children with open arms and introduced them to Moroccan culture. Morocco's culture is a mix of ethnic heritage and religion influenced by Berbers, Africans, Arabs and Jews. Berbers and Arabs make up a majority of the population, with amazing speakers counting for at least 30% of the population. Berber influence is most visible in a wide range of Moroccan activities and ways of life. Although the cuisine varies from region to region, the spices utilized are mostly Berber in origin. Because of the country's proximity to the Mediterranean, fresh fruits and vegetables are often enjoyed. Moroccan music is distinguished by a variety of traditional instruments, most of which of Arab and amazing origin. It is the birthplace of Andalusian classical music, which is popular across North Africa. Berbers and Arabs make up the majority of the Moroccan population. Berber and Arabic are the official languages, except in the northern region where Spanish is the primary language. French is also widely spoken. English is primarily spoken in key tourist destinations such as Marrakesh and other northern cities. Islam is the country's most popular religion, and it is the cornerstone of most families. People value family togetherness and children are trained to look after their parents as they grow older. As a result, there are extremely few elderly care homes in Morocco. Morocco's current royal line is an Arab Sharifian dynasty that claims genealogy from the Prophet Muhammad through Hassan ibn Ali, Muhammad's grandson. In the 17th century, the family ascended to dominance. The Alawis ruled as sovereign sultans until 1912, when Morocco was placed under French and Spanish protectorates. Under colonial administration, they were kept as symbolic sultans. Muhammad V, who had supported the nationalist movement, assumed the Alawi role as an independent head of state when the country won independence in 1956. Shortly after, he changed his title from sultan to king. Hassan II and Muhammad VI, his sons, carried on the dynasty's rule under the same title. With the great title came great responsibilities. The Crown Prince of Morocco, Prince Malé Hassan, will have to carry on the legacy of his father when he ascends the throne someday. However, for now, the Crown Prince is learning his roles while enjoying the luxurious lifestyle attached to his name. Thank you so much for watching until the end and if you found this video interesting, kindly give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks again.